today's our topic is VBG and ABG. In this test, we will discuss normal range of each parameters and abnormal conditions related to these parameters and we will discuss how this test is done. Let's start. VBG venous blood gases and ABG means arterial blood gases. The name indicates that the test may include partial pressure of oxygen and partial pressure of carbon dioxide. But the test includes so many parameters except these. One is pH and the carbon dioxide concentration, partial pressure of oxygen, sodium concentration, potassium concentration, calcium, lactate and glucose. Lactate, glucose and HCT, hematocrit. Let's start from the first pH. pH means poten potential of hydrogen. Potential of hydrogen. The normal blood pH is normal blood pH is 7.35 to 7.45. A slight change can may damage our body. Even a slight imbalance can make our body irritable. For example, one of our enzyme called as phosphofructokinase used in glycolysis. It is pH dependent. A slight decrease in pH can is used in glycolysis. A slight decrease in pH, it's pH dependent, can make this enzyme dysfunctional. Activity decreases by decreased pH. Decreased pH. Thus, glucose utilization in brain cells and in muscle cells are disturbed. Glucose utilization decreases in brain cells and even in muscle cells. The clinical consequences of this decreased pH is drowsiness, coma, and even death. You should be aware about the fact that this phosphofructokinase acts upon fructose 6-phosphate and converts it into fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. It's the important step in glycolysis and this important step is catalyzed by our enzyme phosphofructokinase which is pH dependent. So let's move on to partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Partial pressure of carbon dioxide. The venous pressure is 41 to 51 mmHg and the arterial pressure is arterial partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 35 to 45 mmHg. It often serves as a marker of sufficient alveolar ventilation within the lungs. 
often serves as marker of sufficient alveolar ventilation within the lungs. It can indicate of acid base disorders. If partial pressure of carbon dioxide is elevated in alveolar blood, it means bicarbonate ratio is decreased. If partial pressure of carbon dioxide increased in alveolar blood, that means bicarbonate ratio is decreased. Ratio is decreased. Which internally increases the pH that means potassium ion concentration is increased potassium ion concentration is increased in this condition decreased pH that is acidic causes respiratory acidosis and hypercapnia hypercapnia respiratory acidosis is this condition and hypercapnia means increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide let's move to the another topic that's partial pressure of oxygen partial pressure of oxygen Venous partial pressure of oxygen is 24 to 40 mm Hg and arterial partial pressure of oxygen is 75 mm Hg to 100 mm Hg. PO2 is the marker of perfusion. It is the marker of perfusion. If partial pressure of oxygen is lower than normal, it means the person is not getting enough oxygen. Not getting enough oxygen. It may be in emphysema and in COPD. Conditions may be in emphysema and in COPD COPD let's move to the another sodium ion concentration sodium sodium in another Latin word is called as in Latin word it is called as natrium so the condition is sometimes called as hypernatremia if it is elevated normal range is 136 to 145 millimoles per liter if the sodium concentration is low in blood it's called as hyponatremia it may be in kidney failure heart failure cirrhosis and excess use of diuretics it may be due to kidney failure heart failure liver failure and use of diuretics high concentration the normal is called as hypernatremia it may cause brain dysfunction muscle twitching seizures coma and even death brain damage muscle twitching scissors and even death now potassium let's move to the potassium 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 is also called as calcium in adults Normal range starts from 3.5 to 5.2 millimoles per liter. In children, 
its value is 3.4 to 4.7 millimoles per liter it's important for nerve and muscle cells important for nerve cells and muscle cells function including our heart muscles increased value of potassium level can cause irregular heartbeats and even the severe condition can cause heart attack this high level is called as hyperkalemia hyperkalemia the decreased level of potassium is called as hypokalemia it may cause fatigue muscle cramps and abnormal heart rhythms fatigue muscle cramps and abnormal heart rhythms now let's move to the another that is glucose the random normal glucose value is 70 to 140 mg per dl increased value is called as hyperglycemia it may reach to dangerously high levels if not treated properly insulin and other drugs are used insulin and other drugs are used to lower blood sugar levels if it is lower than normal it's called as hypoglycemia blood sugar level below 70 mg per dl or 3.9 millimoles per liter is considered as lower levels if it is below 55 mg per dl it is considered as severely low you won't be able to treat it by yourself your attendant should take immediate action on to this immediate action then our topic is lactate which is called as lactic acid its normal range is 2 millimoles to 4 millimoles per liter lactic acid is substance made by muscle tissues and by rbcs lactic acid is a substance made by muscle tissues and by rbcs lactic acid is formed from pyruvic acid in the anaerobic respiration that is in absence of oxygen to generate atp to produce atp increased levels is called as hyperlactatemia it is usually caused by impaired tissue oxygenation impaired tissue oxygenation either from decreased oxygen delivery or a defect in mitochondrial oxygen utilization or a defect in mitochondrial oxygen utilization now hypolactatemia there is no such clinical evidence for it let's move to the another that is hct hematocrit hematocrit it is the percentage of red cells 
in your body that's percentage of red blood cells in your body normal value normal value of hct for men males is 41 to 55 percent and for women females is 36 to 48 percent in next video we will show how this test is done thank you for watching